What's up? This is John Pastati with Event Tech Pro, and today we're talking a little bit about Resolume, how to set up, set up a show file. When you first open up the program, uh, it's going to open up the last file that you had open um, from the last point that you saved it. So there's the does not auto save. Um, so you need to go ahead and save your file. Next time you open up Resolume, it will automatically default to the last file that was saved. Um, when you first open up the program for the first time ever, there is a um, default uh, track that has some sample clips, etc. But if you just go um, Composition New, you're going to have a blank canvas that um, has three layers as default. Um, I always start with layer number three as what I refer to as logos or master layer. Um, just like in any Photoshop, Adobe um, workflow, the top layer is the highest in the hierarchy for opacity. So um, that's one of the reasons why it's great to have the logos on top, that way they can be embedded if they have a transparent background. So then uh, for layer number two, we'll just call that uh, layer uh, caps everything. So I'm LV and layer V. And then you can see right here, you can assign the crossfader and you can um, determine what does the crossfader um, properties are right here. So you can either do alpha, which does like a 50-50 blend and the opacity isn't all the way up until the fader is completely over here, or you can do add and it just adds them together and crosses, which can kind of blow out some of the whites when you have a lot, two bright layers that are, that are overlapping. So anyways, let's pull some files into this. If you're not using command tab all day, every day, you need to because it's one of the most powerful um, ways to go in between Finder and Resolume or any of your other programs if you need to get some assets online. So we have deep detail uh, visuals, and we're going to pull out some logos that I've created in Photoshop. And um, let's see if this has, I'm looking for something that has a transparent background. So Okay, so I've got two files in here that are both logos, and now we're going to add some content into layer A and layer B. So I'm gonna to go to a hard drive, check out visual content real quick, and I'm using Motion Loops Prime Mapping, which you can drag the whole folder in, and it's gonna drop all, I think there's 33 clips in here. Uh, usually I like to lay it out into clips of 10, that way they're all visible on kind of 11th clip or whatever, but when you're doing uh, mapping on an APC 40 on or a touch OSC, it's great to have columns of 10 uh, content. And then you can have as many layers, but eventually that'll affect the processing speed of your computer. So, all right, so we have just a really boring logo. You, this button right here helps you size to either uh, stretch or to fill. Um, so uh, typically you don't want to do any kind of stretching of pixels if you can at all avoid it. And so I don't recommend stretch ever. Uh, it's much better to have um, it do uh, fill than uh, fit. So, All right, then we have some content behind it. Uh, if we go to the preview video, which is located in the bottom corner of whatever layer that you select down in the bottom corner over here you can see that the um, hasn't changed the composition but we're able to preview the layer so I want to go ahead and add some color to this um, basic uh, motion graphics loops um, and something that's instantly going to really start to transform 
effect. So you go over here to effects, you can search it, or since colorize is in the top already, just go ahead and drop that. Actually, this be dropped onto layer A. And now uh, we're also going to add a Q rotate. which you want to actually have the uh, hue rotate needs to be below colorize, otherwise it is not going to be affected by it. So I think that's a recent update from version five, but I could be corrected. Um, so now we have the ability to both transpose what the hue is as well as set it to a basic timeline. Whenever you do this, you want to try to preview that first because Obviously, the, the speed setting is to one, which is you know uh, pretty pretty kind of fast and abrupt, especially if you want to grab just a section of this. So you can set it to loop, or you can set it to bounce back and forth, and you can shrink the parameters of the color so that you have just between purple and blue right now. And it'll bounce back and forth, and you can speed it up the color change a little bit if you wanted to, um, so that it kind of pulses a little bit more with the beat. And then shift that around. All right, so so we have that, and then there's a bunch of different clips. Now, I am a uh, huge proponent of transparent backgrounds because it allows you to basically composite everything except for whatever the the text is. Now this is this is whatever, this is cool I guess. But where you really get to start having fun is instead of having the transparency be the background, the transparency is the text. So I'm just gonna do a real quick example and I'm gonna wrap it up for this um, video and that is with a friend of mine who Their band is called the Infinite Points, and it's right here. Alright, so um, if I drop this on here, blow that up. And increase the scale on it if you want to. But now you can see what we've done is. You can even actually uh, set the scale to microphone and make the bottom of the scale be at, say, 200. The top of the scale, you don't want to get it too big, so it's already larger than the screen, so we'll call it like that. And turn the gain all the way up. It's boom, boom, clap, boom, ba boom, clap. And if you want to make it more have a faster attack on the fall when you drop the fall all the way down and it's much more instantaneous so that's if you actually we're not going to get into creating an envelope for this but if you want to set two different effects so that one is reacting to the bass kick and that has a little bit more of a gradual Ball, boom, uh, and then for the hi hats, just as an example. So, anyways, uh, one more thing that you can do real quick if you have a bunch of clips, just go to layer and scroll to the top to autopilot. Click next, and it'll cycle the layers according to whatever transition. So, if you want to bring transition just up a little bit, so it's not quite so abrupt. Uh, and then uh, basically we have an audio reactive visual transparency that is compositing with all the different clips that are bouncing in a hue rotate. So those are some basic um, things you can check out. Get my LinkedIn. Uh, that was awesome. Get my LinkedIn uh, um, out of here. And then uh, check back for more video tutorials regarding using Resolume and using setting up show files 
so please subscribe to the channel and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Booyakasha.